How's it going you guys? Back with another video. So if you're wondering why I haven't, haven't uploaded in a while, it's because this thing's just been sitting covered in snow for the past couple weeks. It's pretty much all melted now. Well, around here it is at least. But there's still tons of gravel and salt on the road, so it's not insured yet. I'll insure it pretty soon. But today, I've got some clear headlight covers to install. So basically, you just got to pop these ones off with the heat gun, place them with those, and get rid of all those nasty lines. Just makes it look a lot better. And then I also got the corner lights here. So yeah, that should be pretty easy. Just gotta pop them off, clear sealant here. I also got a new camera. You may notice there's no more blur on the screen there. So I got the, here's my old one, the Hero 3. Massive crack on the lens. And then I'll switch to this one quickly. And here's the HD Hero 5 Black. So this thing can shoot in 4K. I'm recording in 1080 at 60 FPS right now. And it's got the screen, so I can actually frame my shots. The HD 3 doesn't have the screen. It's got internal stabilization. And it's waterproof, so you don't have to wear that housing that muffles the sound really bad. So yeah, pretty pumped on this. And also, I actually didn't know I was getting this, but... It showed up in the mail. Would have been nice to have this when I actually needed it. But I got this down pipe or mid pipe, I guess. Test pipe, whatever you want to call it. But I had to get this custom fabricated by a friend of mine. And it was kind of a hassle. So it's good that I have this now. Put it in. Probably not today, but maybe today. We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to get started off on this. Just pop out the headlights and start ripping the lenses off. Right, here they are. So all I gotta do is pop these clips out without breaking them, heat up all the sealant, pop these out, and then smush the new ones in them. There we go. Looks like it pulled out most of the sealant too, so that's good. So instead of this, it's gonna be that. So I'm just fitting it up before I seal it in place. That's what it looks like. It's pretty close to OEM. Pretty close. The only thing I don't like is it doesn't have a lip on these ones. It's just flat. And then on this one it has a 
giant lip that smushes right in between there so I don't know this is a lot more likely to leak if you don't seal it properly so I'm gonna have to put a lot of sealant in there so I'm just cleaning the inside of these making sure they're nice and clean clean that and then I'm gonna heat this all up and put some more sealant in there smush them on sealant maybe way too much but maybe just right I don't know a little bit too much on there like I expected but when I tried to take it off and take some out I smudged some on the lens there that I couldn't get off so I'm just gonna leave it you can see a little bit smushing out on the inside there but it's whatever looks good I did exactly what I did not want to do and got adhesive on the lens, but hopefully that comes off. Just gonna leave it there to dry and do the other one. Alright, so that's really all there is to it. I just brought them inside to dry. It's a little bit warmer in here, but I'm just gonna leave them till tomorrow and then I'll put them in. Pretty pumped on these though. They definitely make it look a lot nicer. Alright, so the silicone is all dried now. I'm just going around with some solvent and wiping off the little bits that I got on the lens. Cleaning it up a little bit. Comes off really easily with the solvent, so yeah, and then I'm gonna put them in. Hopefully these don't leak. There's a couple big bubbles along the way, but I did put a lot in there. Like you can see it's really squishing out over here. I don't mind there being a lot extra though because I think that you won't be able to see any of this just by looking at the lights in the front or whatever. Right, I got the old light just propped in there so you guys can see the difference. Looks so much better. It's almost a little bit smaller too. The whole housing. Bam. There it is. Super pumped on that. I should have done that a long time ago because I think it makes the car look a lot, a lot better than having those old nasty things on there. Anyways, I feel like this was a really short video, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully it won't snow anymore. Actually, it might snow. It has snow in the forecast for later on this week. But after that clears up, then hopefully I'll be able to insure the car, start driving it, start recording more videos. I want to do some drifting really bad, figure out that uh, little stalling issue that it still has. And... Yeah, just uh, on the